Fraser Wood, Manitoba to go and visit a pretty amazing Pioneer Log Homes project. Uh, Alaire is the GC on the project. We're going to visit Justin Smith and the uh, Bensky built guys who are doing the framing, the roof system, but they're doing the, the foam roof assembly today. So we want to go and check that out and show you guys a little bit about what they're doing there. I should have gathered my thoughts a little bit better, but I'm blown away. There's a lot of guys pushing hard on this project to get it done as soon as possible. And it's good guys doing the work here. This is super impressive. This is, this is all, this entire project is on a Logix ICF foundation, but they had to put an extra beam in and they had to reinforce the floor because in the center here, there is uh, a detail that I'm told is called like the family tree. There's a, there's a huge timber on the interior. The size of this, the scope, but the detail that's being done here is extremely unique and we're going to talk a little bit more about it today. So the roof here is being built up with 11 and a half inches of our chrome GPS product. So GPS is a graphite infused polystyrene. What that does is it takes regular white EPS that you're used to seeing, infuses graphite in the raw resin, and graphite is a great reflector of radiant energy. So when we test that, it tests at a higher R value. It's about 4.7 per inch. So this roof assembly here, 11 and a half inches, we're gonna be at about that fifth R54 for the roof assembly. But the great thing about it is, this is a continuous insulation application. Um, we're, not, we're not fitting bats in between rafters and getting thermal bridging between uh, through any framing members. It's, it's, a, it's a blanket that we're putting on the roof of this house. So the guys have gotten a couple of the roof faces done here already. They're working on the opposite side from us right now. I just grabbed a couple cutoffs to kind of show you what they're doing. So we're laying out a five inch thick piece of that chrome GPS. Then they are laying out uh, inch and a half thick, so dimensional two by four lumber strapping. Then they're going to anchor through that to the roof deck. That secures the first layer. Then in between that strapping, we lay out an inch and a half sheet of chrome GPS. And then finally, one more five inch layer. So that's how we get to our 11 and a half inches. Very little chances for thermal bridging because we are staggering that strapping and we're anchoring, we're building up as we're going. So we're anchoring this first layer, then the second layer is getting anchored to that first one. And then the final roof vision machine will go on top with uh, some additional strapping that you see on the face there. So there's a lot of intersecting roof faces here, intersecting planes, and there's gonna be a lot of cutting that needs to be done. So the guys are collecting in piles around the site here, the cutoff materials. We can then take that material back to our manufacturing facility. We can regrind it, remanufacture it into new product, and that keeps it out of landfills.